Hello everybody, uh, this is Corlau. Welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video, I'm um, going to talk about System Manager. Um, the title you're seeing that where you could RDP into your instances without um, without even opening any RDP port. So essentially, System Manager is one of the powerful tools that AWS offer. It allows you to manage your instances, your applications, and everything at one place. Uh, you could even monitor your uh, instances and even access the file system. So in the video, uh, I will demonstrate that. Uh, we'll go through and the setup process, and uh, then we eventually test things out and how the setup looks. Let's get into it. First thing, you're gonna make sure that you are logged into your AWS console, and uh, then go to the EC2 instances service uh, and look for the machines that you are going to manage using System Manager. One of the first things uh, we need is SSM agent for our all the EC2 instances. The machines that I have or instances, they already have SSM agent installed. If you uh, installing any of the new instances and you're using the AMI that is provided by Amazon, your instance will have SSM agent pre-installed. So don't worry about that part. And the second, now we're going to look into the port that get used by SSM agent. So the security group should have a 443 port outbound port allowed so that it could communicate with system manager so in my case um, all of my instances have i can quickly verify here all my instances have default security group associated so i'm going to go to my security group here and take a look if has that 443 port allowed or not. In my case, uh, my all traffic is allowed outbound. The reason I have it is that so that my instance could um, communicate with the outer world, not just over the 443 port uh, and uh, on the other ports as well. Uh, if you want to limit their um, access, you could only have 443 port for this tutorial, but uh, you may already have by default all traffic allowed. Uh, looking at the inbound roles, uh, I have none. Uh, I have I, I don't don't have SSM or sorry SSH or RDP port allowed. Uh, so we will see. Um, when we get to the point that we will use system manager to RDP into our instances. So now I'm gonna go back to our instances. Next thing uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to apply a tag to this instances so that uh, it'll be easier for me down the road to distinguish them. So I'm going to look for the service tag editor. And this, this service just allows you to apply the tags um, on multiple devices at once. So tag editor, reason is US East one. The resource in my case is going to be EC2 instant. Select this one, search the resources. And uh, all the three instances have shown up here. I'm going to manage tag for these resources and add. So it's going to be manage and uh, SSM, review, apply tags. All right, so the tags have been applied. So other thing that is very critical for uh, system manager or fleet manager to work uh, is that your machines need to have IAM role applied or so we are going to create an IAM role that we will be using oh, now here. Go to the IAM service, uh, roles, and click on create role. Um, we're going to leave the trusted entity AWS service for the use case EC2. Click next. And the policy that I want to attach is SSM managed. 
So this is the policy provided by AWS. So you, when you're searching just the SSM, you may find one of the policies that is about to get deprecated. But if you want to use most of the functionality of the SSM uh, or system manager, you would use one of these policies. You could always customize it. Click next. Uh, name the role. I'm going to call it SSM role. Uh, create role. Alrighty, so now the role has been created. Uh, we need to attach this role to our EC2 instance. So go to your EC2 service, uh, look for your instances, select the instance that w the one you want to apply the text to, click on actions, uh, security, modify IAM role. Uh, in here you will you'll see that the role you recently created since we highlighted that use case would be easy to so it, it's gonna prompt up here so I'm gonna select this update my IAM role so this is the manual way you would do it but I do have a script uh, available that will apply the tags to all of my instance at once so um, I will make that script available um, below in the description I'll leave the link for it so I'm going to use uh, cloud shell to uh, apply uh, to run my script so first thing first I'm going to upload the file and my script uh, it's called add role okay it's been added oh the file is already there so I must have already updated so I'm gonna run the script Control. So, okay, so it says all of my instances already have the role attached. Let's go take a look. I'm like before I started the video, I may have already applied it. So, all those instances already may have the role attached. Oh, this one doesn't. I may have to look into my script, but for now, I'm gonna, let's quickly review it actually. Um, okay, so I am instance role, profile. Okay, so looking for a tag, tag value manage, the value should be SSM. Um, supposed to attach this role SSM role let's take a look at the one that already has it applied oh it's lowercase I I, I think I have a hard-coded it so I just have to quickly change the value here oh sorry I didn't realize that I was not in the editor editor mode so I'm going to Let's quickly come here. I'm not very good with uh, um, Vim. I just know my way around. So if you see this, me struggling here, excuse me. I'm going to save this file and now run it again. In this case, it tells me that the instance that we manually apply the role to uh, it says has it already applied other two instances would have this newly created role applied attached so I'm gonna come here security just need to refresh uh, and you'll see that role has been applied while we're here I'm just gonna quickly explain the script here so basically the script is um, using border 3 uh, module and the first part is getting the instances and it's filtering based on the tags then we are building a list uh, and uh, the list of the instances and then we run uh, another um, command that attaches the role to the instances the ones that are in the list so that's basically does if that role has already applied or attached or it will just gives you the error message that uh, this particular instance already has the role attached i will again i'll leave the link for this uh, below in the description 
So now, all right, so our rules has been applied now. So now, basically, this is these are the prerequisites that, like, you know, we have to have SSM agent installed and I am role uh, attached to the instance. So let's go to system manager. And under node management, click on fleet manager. And you'll see all those instances prompted up here. Uh, we don't have to do anything once it's only it looks for the role uh, if the role has particular policy uh, it will bring that instance here so now once you you here you could essentially uh, start a remote desktop connection um, okay yeah oh this is the Linux so you can RDP my bad uh, this is Windows node action uh, connect with RDP and uh, you could if you have a username and password you could use that or you could use a key pair i have a key pair i'm going to browse the key i have um i should be my computer here already so i got that connect and um, that's it so it's, this is you'll quickly see that i i will I, I will have the RDP connection established right in the browser. So in here, the one thing I'm gonna point out that the session limit is 60 minutes. You can increase it. We will shortly look into it. You could expand the window, make a full screen. Uh, and um, if you wanna increase the session timing, you could renew it. Once you do it, it'll ask you to re-enter the password. Uh, at the same time, you could connect with other machines too. Select the node that you want to connect to. I'm going to allow the clipboard to be copied. So it's below that. Uh, you could choose three more. Oh, I can't do the RDP. Other two machines are Linux. So, so yeah. So, yeah, this is how this is kind of pretty smooth. So I'm going to quickly go back to Fleet Manager. Click on the node. I want to ex uh, talk about other couple of features so file system this is where you could essentially view the entire file system of the system this is kind of like not super fast but it's it loads up uh, and there's a go like a C drive uh, and you could access you could even download the folders while uh, navigating through the file system you could see there is a performance counter and the process is available so these are not this these things won't work by default uh, i will uh, shortly and uh, it will make them work but uh, the processes won't work either so user and groups this is where you could view that the users that and the groups that are in your instance and this is the one of the features that i like most as a system admin is being able to view the logs right in the portal so i go into the window events log um i'm just gonna quickly wait here for it to be loaded so i'm gonna quickly pause here well, oh it's loaded never mind uh, click on the windows log and uh, i'm gonna select the security log and click on view events and um, I could see all this event right here in the browser uh, and you know from the experience this makes any system admins life a lot easier in dealing with all the issues you don't have to log in you could just kind of view everything in the portal so yeah so now let's uh, um, look into uh, the error message we were getting on why we can and do the performance counter so it requires to have kms key attached uh, in the system manager uh, and uh, if the kms key is not in the place uh, its system manager can communicate to uh, collect all of this uh, all of this um, metric metrics it's, i think it's just because the encryption won't be in place so let's fix that we're gonna go to the uh, in the system manager under node management click on session manager uh, preferences and this is where I was talking about the general preferences you could even uh, extend the time and like you know if your system is idle for 20 minutes it will sign you out uh, and this is where you could enable the KMS I think I had it enabled I don't it didn't work so I'm gonna re-enable it SSM key. Um, so, so okay, the key is attached. So 
sometime okay i know why it's not working so i'm gonna go into the kms service so essentially once you're in the uh, kms you have to allow the role that you wanted the, the KMS key to be used so just make sure you usually you may notice that you're in a different reason so switch to the reason where you are where your instances are uh, click the key that you may have created uh, and edit it I'm gonna quickly edit it uh, doesn't let me do much of the stuff here uh, the key policy okay so it's not letting me do a lot of modification here I think so a second should be here so okay so what we're gonna do I'm gonna quickly create a new key here uh, I'm pretty sure there is a way but so just create a key here uh, again just make sure you're in the same reason click next I'm gonna call it KMS key <laughs> very <laughs> silly name uh, next and this is where you allow uh, you know who could use this KMS key I think the reason that my previous one isn't working because the role I may have attached uh, is no longer valid so um, who's the gonna be admin it's gonna be me I'm gonna select the admin select next and who could use this one and this is where you would just look for the role SSM role attach that particular role click next and finish uh, now we're going to go back to system manager um, and refresh okay I should have been lo should have loaded now but it hasn't so we're going to go to edit again chemist key so this is the chemist key available I'm going to apply that you could even enable the CloudWatch logging if you prefer right here and uh, you could essentially have to create a log group if you like to um, and uh, yeah this is so uh, the you could even modify the maximum time your session could stay active uh, or one particular action so i'm gonna click save here okay so let's quickly uh, create a cloud group okay choose the log group from the list or no i'm i would like to create a new this is some logs create one save oh Okay, choose that. Okay, now I want to do this. Why isn't specify? Yeah. Okay, so I could use maybe the one of the the one that already is there. So I'm gonna select the, this one. I'm not sure why I wasn't able to do this. I'm gonna use the existing log group. Save. So that's where my the monitoring will be sent so now we're gonna go back to um, fleet manager and come here in performance counters since we just uh, created a new kms key and uh, attached to the role that is being used by this node will starting to seeing the metric it, metrics for your instance as you see they are starting to prompt up and uh, this is kind of pretty handy that being able to do everything at one place you could access your file system you could even look at the user and group processes you could even modify your um, um, register keys I think I essentially have to look uh, yeah this message is prompting up no longer valid so yeah so this is where you could even view your uh, registry keys and uh, update them so yeah this is it this is uh, all I wanted to demonstrate in the next uh, few videos I'll, I will talk more about the automations on how you could uh, even add on-prem servers and th there is the other features available which allows you to even manage your patching uh, in the system manager all right um, thank you for watching uh, appreciate that uh, if you like it uh, please consider subscribing uh, and uh, like the video uh, all that usual stuff uh, and in the next videos uh, as I mentioned before I will be covering other features of system managers uh, one of the pretty cool offers that AWS does is like it lets you manage 
the patching in the system manager and there are like a lot of tools like a run command that allows you to kind of execute certain tasks on a multiple uh, instances at the, at the same time uh, we'll be covering that in the future videos thank you again for watching